Shalom again, Zion's family. Back with another quick little video. So here are some US, USB powered mini fans. No, this will not cool your whole room, but in, a, in an SHTF or what we just went through in a hurricane, if you have larger fans that you can put in the window, which we do have box, box fans, the old fashioned big box fans that can run off our solar power stations but we have these as directional air air that can blow directly on an individual or in a particular area both fans are usb powered both uh, are rechargeable usb fans and i'll show you this is the first one as you can see it can be charged both of these can be charged with this power block here and so it's in here and it's just charging you can also, with this fan, it can be used to charge a cell phone in the case of an emergency. As long as this battery has power, it will recharge your cell phone. This has three levels. This is level one, that's low. This is medium and high. Relatively quiet. And I'm trying to find something I can use to show you. Oh, wait, let me turn it off show you the, the force of the wind. Give me one second. Okay, this is on high. And this is a, just a little bitty uh, ribbon. It's a broke grain, a broke grain ribbon. Oh, why is it doing this? Oh, it needs to be charged, that's why. But it's a broke grain ribbon, so it has a little bit of weight. It's not, you know, super flimsy. It's kind of weighted. But this is on low. And you can see on low, that it does blow with good little force. If this was charged, which I should have charged, make sure it was charged, <laughs> you can see it does quite well. Okay, and just hold and it'll turn off. Now this one, same thing, USB powered with a digital display. Wow, neither one of these things. Okay, so I was showing you that it has quite a bit of little strength that it could blow this ribbon quite easily. So it puts out good amount of little air, okay? And so this one is a second one, another little personal desktop, what they call them, fans. It can be charged USB powered. You can also plug it into your power station if you have one. Uh, and it help has also has This is one, and so you're seeing what one would do. It's providing some air. It's quite quiet. That's two. And three. Four. And five is supposed to be higher than that, but I don't know why it's not. Oh, there it is. It. So, it puts out enough air. It's not going to cool, work like an air conditioner because it's not what it is. And this is enough. The same fan as this one, just this time. This one is standing on its own charge. Yeah. That's and it tells you the, the, the temperature that it's actually putting out at the moment or that it is in the room. And five, so. Yeah. So these are just options that you can use to keep cool. You're gonna be uncomfortable, it's not AC. But with a box fan in the window, one facing in, pulling hot air out, one facing, one, one facing in, pulling cool air in, and turn the other, the box fan in another room, with cross, uh, cross breeze. So one facing in, pulling air in, one facing out, pulling hot air out. This to create enough circulation, along with these personal fans, to keep you cool. Uh, again, you're going to be uncomfortable. This is it's HTL. This is without power. This is hurricane. These are natural disasters, natural issues 
natural problems. It's not going to work like an air conditioner, but it will keep you from overheating. If you're drinking enough fluid and eating uh, minimal but uh, sufficiently, you should be able to maintain and keep going. So I just wanted to put these out. The links are in the description to both these fans. Shalom, Science Family.